I'm looking forward to every game, every game I play. I'm looking forward to playing. So it's just another game for us. And the game we got to go out and defend home court. Obviously, you guys and maybe a little bit of the fans are going to uh, blow it up, which is fine. But uh, we got to go out there and play pace of basketball and execute and go out there and defend the home court and try to get a win. Those guys are still, you know, my friends. And, you know, I played all year with those guys. So obviously, their relationships and bonds there. Jeremy, I went to Scott. Jeremy, like my, my my brother, he's like my blood brother. So I grew up with him. So obviously there's still relationships there. But come tomorrow, you know, we just competing. You know, we try, we both trying to get a win, both sides. So we're looking forward to that and just competing at a high level. It's gonna be an exciting game. Uh, we know the gym's gonna the gym's gonna be packed. Uh, fans are amazing every game. So we're we're just gonna come out and compete. For us as a team, uh, we're just looking at it as another game in our in our in our home stretch uh, and. We're gonna come come out and try and get the win. We, we know that uh, it's a lot of hype to this game with the trade that was made uh, this summer, but it is another game for us. And for us, uh, the focus is defending home court, continuing to try to do that. Uh, you know, this uh, we have another very talented team coming in here that has success against us a couple weeks ago. And uh, you know, before we go back out on the road, uh, it's a OKC coming in here. We know that, but. Uh, uh, the focus is to defend home court. I don't know, you know. I, you know, I'm sure there'll be there'll be some people that support, and there'll be some people that that won't. Uh, you know, but he it was a heck of a player. Uh, my time that he spent uh, here, and I spent with him. Uh, but that's that's always the case. Uh, you know, when you have situations like this, I I've I didn't experience that as a player, but as a coach, uh, when you leave a place, uh, you have some supporters and you have some people that uh, are a little bitter about uh, you know situations you know depending on how you you exit. It's gonna be great I mean Paul coming back just to, it's gonna be different uh, playing against him on a, on a pacer floor but uh, my goal right now is to get as much wins as possible. We communicate a little bit uh, during the season but for the most part we always talk uh, during the off season but Right now, we just focus on basketball and say a little here and there, send a little Snapchat videos. But other than that, <laughs> we, we, we both focus on basketball right now. Actually, I was nervous, and um, I loved the crowd so much uh, in the end that I, didn't, I was nervous coming out, and I didn't want them to, to boo me. But I got a little boos, I got a little chairs, so it was even. So I don't know how they go do Paul. But. What should they do? Hopefully it should be even. It should be even. But I think, man, he did so much for um, Indiana and how well he played and uh, carried us um, when he was here. So I think I think he get more chairs than Bulls because they, they felt like he didn't want to be here. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a business, man. You you don't know what he was going through or all the stuff that he was going through during the season. So he probably did. He, just wanted to see a different look. It's another game. Uh, I mean, that's that's how we take it. You know, everybody in this gym, we, we uh, go about the same, just go about the same way as we do any other game. Go over personnel. You know, um, we look, we don't look at it no different than you know us playing. You know, any other team. So um, we just take it and go. We we'll go with the punches and go with the flow. Beyond that circumstance, it's your only national televised game of the season, at least to this point. How will that impact maybe the feel of the game? It doesn't. I mean, you know, we know it's on TV, but, you know, we, like I said, we're just going to go out there and continue to do what we've been doing, just uh, execute, uh, try to, you know, play our best of our abilities and, you know, try to get a win. You usually wear PG1s. Can you wear those when playing against them? <laughs> no, I'm probably going to wear Kobe's tomorrow. He, he asked me that last game. He was like, why you didn't wear the PGs? I was like, come on, man, you know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, I'm probably going to wear some Kobe's tomorrow, but, uh, you know, go back to my PG ones after that. It was obviously a bit weird um, coming back there, but uh, like, like I said before, um, it, just, it was another game on the schedule. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm happy to be here, and uh, we're, we're just trying to get more. Yeah, I have. Uh, I made a lot of close relationships uh, with teammates there, and we're still staying in contact. Sure, but I did become a better shooter playing with Russ, um, obviously. And, uh, uh, you know, when you play with a guy like that, he demands a lot of attention. So when the ball swings, you got to be ready to shoot at all times. So. I definitely, you know, turned into a better catch and shoot player, shoot better shooter in general um, last year, and it's helped me now.